When I was around 7 years old, my parents asked me what those things on the end of the wings are for. I barely knew anything about airplanes at the time, so I said they're there to make the airplane look cool. And while they definitely do look good, they serve a much bigger purpose, and that's what we'll be talking about in this video. The short answer for what they do is they reduce drag. But now you might ask, what is drag, and how do winglets reduce it? So firstly, drag is like air's way of slowing an airplane down. When a plane moves through the sky, it has to push through a lot of air, and that air creates a resistance, which is known as drag. Just imagine yourself sticking your hand out of a car that's moving fast, and you'll feel exactly what drag is. Airplanes experience different types of drag, which can be divided into two main categories, induced drag and parasite drag. Parasite drag is a whole discussion of its own, maybe for another video. In this video, we need to focus on induced drag. In simple terms, induced drag is drag which is created as a byproduct of lift, which by the way, lift is the force which makes an airplane fly, which is also a topic for another video. Anyway, induced drag happens for two main reasons, but the reason which primarily concerns winglets are wingtip vortices. Wingtip vortices are caused by a difference in air pressure from the top of the wing to the bottom of the wing. The air on top of the wing gets accelerated, which results in a lower air pressure than the bottom. And as you might know, higher pressure wants to go to low air pressure. And this relationship between higher pressure and low air pressure actually helps airplanes fly, except at the wingtip, since the air just goes around the wingtip. This results in a lot of turbulent air spiraling around the tips of the wing, kind of like a mini tornado, which as you might have guessed from the words tornado, it's not a good thing, it creates a significant amount of drag. And now you might see how winglets help. They help Help control the airflow at the wingtips and reduce the strength and size of the vortices, resulting in a lower induced drag. And you might be surprised how much of a difference they make. They can reduce fuel burn by 3 to 5%, which really adds up, especially considering how much fuel airplanes need to burn. Not to mention, they significantly reduce noise pollution, and as 7 year old me said, they look cool too. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want more aviation content.